Hey, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm starting out my video today in the garage. And here's what I'm working on. Yes, I'm back to this again. This is like kind of a part two to the ruler uh, or yardstick containers. These are the ones that my husband did after I did the first video. He helped me finish some of them off. And they have not been stained. So here's what they all look like. There's a red. Um, this one will get good stain here. Uh, let's see, here's a green. I'll stain this one. This one I might stain. Looks like it could, it'll take it. And then, whoops, then I'll stain this one. The red and the green, I'm going to leave them alone because I like those colors. So I'm going to leave those two. And all I'm going to do to all of these, I'm going to put a very light coat of this. This one was out um, weed eating, but he waltzed right in here. <laughs> all right, so this is what I'm using. I'm using Minwax Wood Finish Scent semi-transparent color stain clear tint base which it could be as dark or as light as you want depending on how many layers you put on and how thirsty your wood is that you're using so there's that so what I'm going to do to do this is I'm going to take a just your whoops I thought there was a towel here your basic run-of-the-mill cheap abused paintbrush I'm going to paint them in order for me to film this without him walking in here again, I'm going to turn this off and then I'll go back into the other room once I'm finished. To say I have napkins is a slight understatement. I have been saving these for years and years and even people have sent me some that I've saved. I have things that I've already cut up. I tried to put my napkins in bags, as you can see, I didn't quite make it all the way with these. But nevertheless, <laughs> the majority of them are in baggies so that I can keep all the stuff together. And I would like to, ooh, this is a nice one. I think I'm going to put some decorations in the bottoms of my yardstick boxes. Some of them are very dark, and so I thought if I put something happy and lovely in them, that would just perk things up a bit. I'm looking through the napkins to see if I can find the kind of happy things I want in there. Um, I would like bright colors. I think I would like this maybe in the red one. Oh, look, matchy, matchy. Right up my alley. Alrighty, that's one. And then I have a green one here. Um, I thought I had a blue box. Oh, it might not be built yet. Okay, so, oh, uh, let's see. Let's look for something more greenly. Oh, it's in here. I have some miscellaneous stuff here, so let's see if we can go through it. I don't want any stars. Um, I don't want a bunch of words. I do like these though, but not, I don't, no food. <laughs> no food! Yellow's happy. No. There's a pink. Whoa, that's really pink. Um. There's more irises. I do like the irises. Oh, I love these. This is one of my favorite ones. I think this is one of my favorite napkins that somebody gave to me or I bought. I don't remember where it came from. But I love this pattern. Um, let's see. I might have to use Breakdown and use my favorite pattern because I have very few of them, so I'm trying not to... Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. I wonder if this is about the same size in the inside of my box. Ugh. This looks like winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hello. You're so pretty. And you're so fat and you will be perfect. Okay, so that's that one. All right, so I'm going to line it up with the box. Bang. So I have two. Yay. But I have... A whole bunch more boxes like I have four small boxes to put together 
and then this one here, and there's one drying in the garage, and then I have three more of the uh, wood planks that still, either two or three, that still need to be done. I'm only going to show you a few of them that I do, but you'll get the idea. You don't need for me to hold your hand through all of this, right? Um, let's see. I see seashells here. Well, they are lovely. It's not what I'm looking for. Uh, this is fall stuff in words. No fall. Don't want fall. This is stuff that I think Susan Taylor Brown cut out and sent me. And I might dig around in here as soon as I get this off the desk and see if I can't oof, find something that I like. Let me put these other things back into the basket so I can see my desk. Which, I don't know. I do like the way that looks, though. Let's see, I did one, two big boxes already. Well, let me see if I got anything. Well, there's a blue stick out there, I think. Ooh, I have to go in the garage and let's see what I got left. So let's concentrate on the itty bitties thing because I'm not sure about this one. So let's just take a gander at what Susan sent me. God, I've held on to these for years. She sent them a while back, a couple years ago. And I've held on to them all this time thinking, there'll come a time. Oh my goodness, wait, do I have a bigger box? I do. Look at this. I have a bigger box. That that would be lovely in the bottom. <gasps> oh my. It's so pretty. Okay. I think we're sold. Ding, ding, ding. All right. So now i got to get this stuff out into some other container. Let me put this on top of these so they don't fly away. Um, let me just pour these on here. And they're counted. That's the reason I'm... I'm being careful with them because there's 150 of these little things in here for a project and I don't want to screw it up. All right, so this will have this or this. They look like they're, oh, they're the same. Okay. What do you think? I just thought something in the bottom of the box is to brighten them up a little bit, you know, to kind of shake it up. Yes! Yay! Okay, so that's that one. Set it aside. Let me see what else we got in here. This one is way too big. That's huge. What's this? Oh, that's nice. But it's too big for the boxes. This is too large, too. Okay, so I can't use those. But, what's this? Oh, look at here. There's a sunflower. I wonder if there's more. Um, daffodils, watering cans, butterflies. What's this? Those are bird eggs. No. <laughs> Not this time. Ordinarily, I would say yes. But, no. Butterflies. Maybe I should do one with just butterflies in there. Oh, there's so many cute things in here. Man, she fussy cut them all already. How lucky am I to get this? Oh, what is this? <gasps> ding, ding. We have another winner. Let me scoot it over a little bit. Okay, I might have to... Okay, pick it up. I might have to reposition it a little bit to see if I can get it to... Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Okay, another one done. So that's four. And I still have one, two, three, four more. This is... Okay. There's a daffodil, which I already know is too large. Let me put some of these in here to hold them until I can figure out what I want to do with them. I don't want them to fly away. My ceiling fan's going like 100 miles an hour because it's getting a little toasty. And my air conditioner's on, too. Yeehaw. This is only June. I can't wait to see what the rest brings. This is... It looks like it's an anemone. Poppy. A poppy. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. 
big blue flower. Oh my. I don't think it'll, nope, it's too big. Okay, shoot. Well, petals. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see. <gasps> look at those geraniums. Ooh. Oh, daisies. Look, look at this. Here we go. Hello, flowers. Ah, that's another one. And what else do we got here? Let's see. This is a lovely one. It's rather tall. I wonder if it'll fit in here. Well, yeah, but no, not this one. Okay, so we got these. That's the geranium. This is lovely, but I don't, oh, this is nice. I like the white, but I don't think I have room. looking for. I thought maybe it was a chicken dinner winner. Um, I see something in here that I would love to put in the bottom. <laughs> it's a typewriter. I love typewriters. Oh, here's another. Oh, oh hello. You're so pretty. Oh, look. Too big. So can I have two with yellow flowers? Two yellow flower ones. And it has a butterfly and a flower. Is that too dark? I might need a white something in here because this is very dark. Come on. All right, so let's keep digging. There is a plethora of stuff here. And the best part is it's all fussy cut and I don't have to do it. <laughs> what is this? Too tall. Oh, look. Oh, now see, that's cute. It's just a little pansy, but uh. Let's see, what else? Um, ooh, I know I've got that napkin already. There's a white flower. There's a big butterfly. Maybe I should go with a butterfly. Maybe I could do this one and one above it like it's a scientific display. This one and another one above it. Okay, so here's a yellow one. It's kind of smallish. We think. Oh, that looks so cool. Maybe not the yellow one. Maybe I can find another butterfly a little bit bigger than this one. I think I put them all in here already. There's a was there a butterfly? Yes, there are. Oh, look at here. Oof. They're so pretty. Susan, you did a good job fussy cutting, so I don't have to. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. Okay, let's see. Will this one fit? A little too... I think I would mess it up trying to get it to stick down there, so let's take this guy out if we can get him out. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's hang with this one for now. And see what else is in this pile. I do like the pansy though. Okay, I'm gonna set the pansy right there for the time being. These are bigger pieces. There's hibiscus. Oh, there's another butterfly, but I know it's too large for the box. There's another white flower. No. So that's the trouble with other people's stuff. It always looks better than your own. I do like this one, though. I wonder if I could do this one. Oh, he's too big, too. Son of a gun. That's a darn shame. You know, I could do all butterflies in this big green box. I could, I could. Okay, let me keep looking. Let's put the yellow one back in there just in case. I don't want to lose them. All right, what else is in here? Oh, 
That's a moth. It's hanging on to you. Oh, what is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's fiber of some sort. I'm sorry, I didn't know. realize I'm out of camera the whole stinking time. Let's see. All right, let's move this up. All right, is this a dragonfly? It is, it is. Oh, what a handsome devil. Mm -mm -mm -mm. More flowers. Oh, is that a pansy? That's a little pansy. Okay. There's the big sunflowers. I don't have anything to put that in at this time. There's another pretty beautiful butterfly. Let's see what else is in here. Oh my goodness, there's just so many beautiful things in here and they're so delicate. Oh, 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 wait, what is this? Oh my goodness, there's another pansy. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but I wanna save it just in case, because you know, it's my luck. I can't, I'll be looking for it and can't find it. There's another butterfly and another pansy. What? What were you doing, dear? Let's do the white pansies. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna take the green box and do nothing but butterflies all lined up. On <gasps> Let's see. Are you, oh, are you too big? Man, you barely fit in there. So let's take that one. And let's do a beautiful blue one. And then we could do this lovely yellow one. And then we could do this, sorry, my husband's out weed eating and the dogs are not happy about it. I think they hear him and they want out. I'm not letting them out while he weed eats. Okay, so this one's gotta go. Actually, I could just spread these out and put him up here. And then this one up a little bit more. And this one could go up higher. Oh, look at that. Oh, ding, ding. Another one, ring bong. Okay, so I have pansies in here, three pansies. I've got one more right here. Ooh, that's a pink butterfly. No, don't do it, don't do it. Um, oh, 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 there's all kinds of pretty butterflies. So many cool things in here that are always more wonderful than what my stuff is. Oh, what is this? Well, that's very Hawaiian looking. More butterflies. I think those are the ones I looked at. Oh, look, uh, uh, wait, we have it. We have a birdie. Have a little yellow bird. Well, he's brown and yellow. It's just cute. I just wanted a little something to perk up the bottom of these dark brown boxes. And I like the fact they're dark brown. Don't get me wrong. But, oh wait, what's this? Um, I just, I just think that they need a little perk me up in the bottom. What else is in here? There is a, oh, what is this? That's, oh, hey, pansy arrangement. All right, let me put that in the box for consideration. Ooh, stuff's blowing around. There is an, uh, okay, a pansy. Oh, is that a hummingbird I just saw? Yes, it is. Why, yes it is. All right, where would I put you? Um, I have another box in the garage. And then we've got to make either two or three more. So, okay, I have to go take care of the dogs. I'll be back. Obviously the dogs did not get the memo. I am recording. <laughs> okay, so um, I need to sneeze. I'll be right back. All right, after I sneezed and it shook some brain cells loose, <laughs> y'all don't laugh. Um, I found some deco art deco page and I think that's what I'm gonna use in here 
to do this. If I can... Whoa! I obviously have not used this in a really... Oh, good grief. A really long time. Oh, maybe I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Holy cow, this thing is on tight. All right, so we're not going to use that. <laughs> we have to go look for something else. Oh, what are we going to use? We have deco page. All right, let's, let's for napkins. All right, let's see if we can get this one open. No, it is hermetically sealed forever. <sighs> okay, I got to run these under some hot water. Okay, woo. This is the importance of using your supplies on a regular basis. <laughs> Look at this. E uh, it's like very ugh, gelatinous. Oh, where's a paper towel when you need one? Okay. Didn't think that out very well. As usual. And then I had to shake it up. I hope this stuff still works. Okay, I need a nap. Oh, here, look. A napkin. Yay. This is really... Um... <laughs> gross. <laughs> Ew, it's very sticky. And... This is why you should clean around the edges of your jars when you put them away for months on end. All right. I like I had to run them under hot water for a second. I'm not going to close that. <laughs> I'm not. Um, but I got them both off, so I'm very happy about that. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, look. It's hermetically sealed, too. See it? Yeah. <laughs> Again, this is why you clean your supplies up and treat it with respect. <laughs> oh, 40 gallons of hot water, and this is what I got. Yeesh. Oh, look. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I'm being punished because I have not done anything bookmaking, scrappy stuff in forever and ugh. okay what is this this is for paper let me close this up this is the one for napkins I'm not really sure if one is they're probably close to the same kind of formula but the rate I'm going I'm not questioning it <laughs> let us find a brush uh, let's see that one's too harsh this one is very soft Let's go with this. I don't know if this one will work. Oh, no, I found a hard spot in there. Nope. I usually take better care of my brushes, although I say that as I can't find a stinking thing to use. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to brush a little of this on the bottom of the box. I'm going to lay my birdie on there. And I'm going to brush from the inside out. Where is the inside? Here we go. And then I'm going to make a nice wide swath of clear stuff to protect my birdie. So it is sealed in there nicely. What a cute bird. And now he's got to dry. All right, so let's do a different one. <laughs> All right, let me put my card back over here. Let's do the daisies, because they're handy. All right. All my brushes that I usually do for this out in the garage because I'm painting Artemat stuff and paint uh, staining these so all my brushes I do for this kind of stuff are out in the garage Oop. nope 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 
There we go. I'm hoping that the clear or the, the clear will make the white look nice. I didn't put stuff underneath it, so I hope it'll work. I didn't do enough out on the edges. This might take a couple days to try. Today is Saturday. My video comes out on a Tuesday. I'm trying to get back in the schedule of doing videos on Tuesdays, but I'm summertime is the best time to make money off of Artemat. So um, that's why I am trying to get as much of that done as I can in advance. So I have time to do stuff like this. I enjoy doing stuff like this. And Well, actually, the reason I'm doing this is because of Artemat. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't do this. I just need a place to store, I'll show you in a second, store my creations, my the bits to the creations before I get them all put together. A lot of moving parts. All right, let's see what we got here. Need to turn it a little bit more this way. All righty. I'm going to go from the inside out. Oh, I'm getting this on the sides. I hope that you guys will try to do something like this. It's a lot of fun. Especially when you dig through somebody else's stuff and they already fussy cut it all for you. Now, I would, you know, I, I was tempted to put stuff on the bottom, but this stuff is going to be shuffled around on the, on the Holtz board, on a table, on paper, on metal, and I decided that's probably not the best place. That's why I put things inside, so as I think I will get to see it more often this way instead of on the bottom, which I will never see. All right, so I'm going to shut this off, and then I'm going to come back with all of them finished. Okay, everybody, it's been a few hours and everything is dry. I have some things to say about my outcome. So let's see. Let's first go with the biggest disappointment of the group so I can just get it over with. And it is the daisies. Now, it looks better on camera than it does in person, but it, I think it was white. White's not going to do well on this. Um... I'm a little disappointed, but, you know, I can always put something else on top of it. Or I could just leave it alone. There's that one. Then the next one, we have the pansies. And I like the way they turned out. They turned out just fine. They look nice in the camera. Although they are darker in person, but they look really nice on the camera. Then there is the bird. I think that... Uh, maybe a lot of problems with what has happened is the way that I glued it down, that I didn't have it wet enough so that it, so it's got some bubbles and a couple wrinkles, but it's okay. I learned something, you know. I do like this one too, which again looks better in camera than in person. In person it's very dark, but in camera it looks pretty good. Not disappointed at all. This one went well until I see that yeah, I can't get it off now part of this ripped off and is over there <laughs> so there you go there's the sunflower which I think turned out pretty well oh uh, let's see let's go with this one next well I like this again I think it has to do with how I glued it down maybe there's not enough glue here and it's not well now it's too late but it's whiter than the rest of it. Still looks cool though. I did cut away some of the white, um, the extra white, because I, I it was too large to fit in here, and some of it did go up the sides a little bit, but it's not too bad. 
Then we have the tulips, which I thought turned out pretty well considering. It's the first time I've ever done this, so I'm, you know, just playing around with the concept that I thought might work, and I'm not disappointed at how it turned out. I learned some new stuff. This one I think is my favorite. This is the butterflies. I think they look so vintage and so cool, and they were so wet. There's no bubbles, no bumps, nothing. This is one of the best ones of the group. Okay, I'll let you out in a second. I think this is the best one of the group. Okay, everybody, so this is it for my experiment with yardstick art <laughs> boxes. I guess that's what you call it. I don't know. I only have one that I'm really disappointed in, and that's the white daisies. Although, see, it looks... That's not so bad. Well, yeah, it is bad. <laughs> but it's okay. It'll be covered up with other stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I really do appreciate your time and your subscription. Thank you.